Well, we're here with Richard Dane, uh, Export Sales Manager for Naim. How are you? How are you, Richard? Hi, I'm fine. So it's thanks. been a busy day here at the I'm sure One has. Hi-Fi show. Um, we're all interested about the NVI, the new uh, Home Entertainment Center. Maybe you can present the product, which is a, here in a prototype sure. model, and will be brought to the market soon. And uh, tell us why it's so different. Absolutely. Um, this will be available uh, end of November this year. Um, this is our, our prototype uh, unit. What makes this special is that uh, our philosophy and name has always been putting performance first. Uh, that means both uh, in sound and now with vision. Um, those who know name will realize that we've had a DVD player on the market for about a year now. And that DVD player has met with uh, big plaudits for not only its video quality, but also its sound quality as well. Um, what we've done with the Envy is uh, what we want to do is use the video uh, the, the technology that we used uh, to give uh, this incredible video performance and put it in an all-in-one box which provides not only a DVD player, a DVD-A player, a CD player, but also a, a multi-channel processor um, and also a multi-channel amplifier. On top of that, you also have uh, the ability to add a DAB or FM uh, tuner module inside. So really, it's, uh, it's, it, it does everything for you um, for, for, as we say, the home entertainment center. Uh, it it's has, all in one. All you have to do is add the speakers. All you have to do is add the speakers. It also has the ability you can add external sources, both digital and analog. And for production, there will also be an input on the front for anyone with MP3 player, such as uh, an iPod, that kind of thing, that you can just input straight into the unit. Um, it's uh, technology-wise, it's it's quite a departure for us. Um, as anyone who would know name realizes that sometimes that means an awful lot of boxes, because we believe in separate power supplies, and uh, it does mean that often a name system does run to uh, quite a lot of black boxes. But here we just got the one. Um, so inside, we've had to use some new technology for us. Um, we're using uh, switch mode power supply, which is a new thing for us. Uh, we're also using digital amplifier modules as well. But we've had our R&D team working uh, for a couple of years now on actually perfecting these technologies just for this product. So we think that this product uh, really does give people uh, a big taste, a big slice of name performance in a very small package. Um, the NSAT uh, speaker package you see here um, that we're running here today, this is also uh, a, a fairly new uh, product for us. The, um, they're, the, they're, our first, um, they're our first bookshelf speaker. Um, having said that, we wouldn't recommend you run them on bookshelves. As you can see them here, they're on stands, but quite unique in the way they're mounted on the stand. We have these lugs uh, that are uh, basically fitted on the back of the NSAT, and they slot into the stand here, in these cutouts. What these do, they have a chamfered edge, which means that effectively they are resting on a knife edge here. Now you've got the two here, and then you've got a, a grub screw here that effectively gives a three-point contact. What this does is it holds the speaker rigidly in place. However, it also decouples the speaker from the stand and hence the floor. It's as close as you can get to the ideal of trying to hold the speaker just in midair. Um, then we have the N sub, and the N sub it has uh, a proper amplifier inside it. This is uh, a somewhat uh, unique proposition uh, for subwoofers. Very often you will find just. Uh, a fairly rudimentary uh, digital amp, but what we use here is a proper name amplifier using a big toroidal transformer and using the same transistors as we use in our flagship amplifier. Uh, this has a proper earthing arrangement.